everybody, I am Ashmore and welcome to Museum of Memory. So if you guys remembered a little bit ago, we played I Was Here. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll have it linked in the description. This is made by the same developer though. And I'm really excited because this is an art is exhibit of actual people's memories. Welcome to the Museum of Me Memories, a menagerie of sentimentality. The items here on display may upon first glance appear trite or insignificant, but each holds a great deal of importance to someone. Here are the untold stories of our everyday objects. Uh, oh yay, there's a story as told by its donor. Oh. Okay, so I am super interested to hear about all of this. Oh. I think one of my most cherished items has to be my autographed copy of Dragon Quest 1, signed by Yuji Horii, the creator of Dragon Quest. It's just one of my favorite RPGs of all time, and it was the first RPG that I ever played when I was about six years old. Aww. I have a lot of memories attached to the game, and my memory of when I met Yuji Horii is just one of the memory, best memories that I've ever had. Oh! Yeah, we are definitely, so this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer game, and I don't mind, I hope you guys don't mind, but I really want to hear all of these. This price tag may look like garbage, but it means the world to me. I kept this price tag as a souvenir after selling the item it was attached to. The item was a crab-themed suitcase that had gaudy neon pink satin lining the inside. My co-workers told me this item had been in the gift shop for years, and it was impossible to sell. Guess what? I sold it. That's awesome. Oh. My partner and I couldn't see each other for a good stretch of time because of COVID, and we hadn't said I love you yet. So when we saw each other again, he gave me this sheet of paper where he had made a mark every time he wanted to say I love you, but didn't because he wanted to wait until we were in person. Oh. No, that's so precious. Here's another... Oh. Uh, thing from my childhood, a picture of my third birthday party with my cousins that lived in town. It was quite a picture that I remember fondly. Oh, I love this so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to get super emotional. I flip and love this so much. My mom got this mirror for me when I was really little, and it's the only thing that I've kept with me from my childhood bedroom. The gold paint is so pretty, even if it's pretty worn down by now. And the painting of two women and a little girl in a field of flowers has such a peaceful and nostalgic vibe. Oh my gosh. I want more of this. If you guys know more of these, please, please let me know in the comments because this, this is remarkable. This is a recycled sculpture my daughter Kira made for me. It is a bird named Jane. She made her from old spiral notebook spirals she had saved throughout school. Her wings are mirrors from a broken compact. Her oh. eyes are beads from a broken bracelet. She is festooned with a broken strand of rhinestones, and her tail is made of metallic shoestrings. She is precious to me because Kira made her when I was going through a very sad time. She reminds me that even when I feel alone and sad, there are people thinking about me and loving me. Oh my gosh, yes there are, Rebecca. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ugh. During the protests against police brutality in the summer of 2020, I marched with the man with the drums. He was always there. The heartbeat of the march. One of the days his battered cymbal shattered, and I picked up this shard. Reminds me you have to keep beating the fucking drum until it breaks. Hell, even after it breaks. Oh, I love that. This little frog statue belonged to my Aunt Kathy. She died when I was 11, and my dad brought this back for me because I loved frogs. I wish I could have known her better, because I think we would have had a lot in common as I got older. Now, this trinket lives on my altar to help me connect with her in a different way, and I can tuck a little lavender away inside his head. Oh, I love that. Oh. We're gonna come back to these two, but I want to check out what's in the middle. I made this sword a few years ago. I've always loved swords and had a bit of an obsession with medieval weaponry, so making a sword was like an all-time goal of mine. Plus, my last name is Smith, so it just felt right to learn to smith. <laughs> oh, that's the developer! Oh my 
my gosh, you are talented. Do, do you actually like blacksmith in real life? Because that is wonderful. Also, could you make me a sword? Because that would be amazing. This was the cookbook that my mother used when I was growing up. It's the 1943 edition of The Joy of Cooking by Irma Rambauer, and it's six years older than I am. Oh. Oh. I've had Cuppy ever since I was about two years old when my mom gave her to me. Ever since, she has been my most prized possession. She is based on the stuffed bunny in Disney's 1998 film The Parent Trap, which was a favorite of mine because I am a twin. As a kid, I was convinced that I couldn't fall asleep without holding her. She travels with me all around the world, even though she seldom leaves my suitcase. That's amazing that she's still with you, though. Oh my gosh, this stop it. This has been it. with me my entire life, and was the only thing that let me and my brother be kids in a safe bubble. It was, at times, the only escape we had, and the only world we truly understood. Oh, I love that. What's upstairs? Oh my gosh, you can, you can also add things. Thank you for visiting our museum. Please visit us again as we hope to be able to expand our collection soon. Your generous donations allow us to expand upon this exhibit. If you enjoyed this virtual experience, please consider leaving a donation. That was so amazing. That was so beautiful. If you guys know if there are any other Museum of Memories or any sort of games like this, let me know down in the comments because I would love to play some more of these. That was remarkable. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video. And again, thank you guys so much for going on this experience with me. This was remarkable. As always, I hope you all have a beautiful day, a beautiful afternoon, and a wonderful evening, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!